a very highly used anchor out there. Uh, wedge anchor, basically you drill a hole in the concrete to the circumference uh, of the wedge anchor. If it's quarter inch, you drill a quarter inch hole. If it's three eighths, uh, you drill a three eighths hole. And how this works is when you drill the hole in the concrete and you lock down on this nut, it starts to pull up this wedge here that, that goes around the bottom diameter, uh, starts to wedge in to this um, uh, end and then it tightens up and it doesn't pull out. This is the most uh, strongest concrete anchor uh, to be used uh, as far as pull out goes. Zinc plated wedge anchors are used in interior applications um, and can be used on exterior applications. Hot dip galvanized wedge anchors are used for exterior applications in fresh water such as rainwater, um, bay water, anything where you are using it in a non-salt water application. 304 stainless is also used in fresh water. This will give you long lasting, um, non-corrosive application. So you would use stainless steel in an application where you do not want to see any rust over a period of time or any surface corrosion. 316, 316 stainless is marked as 316. You'll find it marked on the nut, 316 stainless. You'll find it on the washer marked as 316 stainless. And you'll see a marking on the bottom of a 316 stainless wedge anchor. These wedge anchors can be used in salt water applications such as docks, decks, anywhere you have, or a boardwalk, anywhere you have a application where you're using salt water. So I have the wedge anchor. This is a 3 8 by 3 inch wedge anchor pair of safety glasses, uh, some blue painter's tape, an open end wrench, tape measure, hammer, my Bulldog, Bosch Bulldog Extreme hammer drill, and a pair of safety gloves. These are all the items that you're going to need to install this widget. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You'll see on the bit here, I put a piece of tape. This is a three inch wedge anchor in length, okay, from top to bottom. And I measured in approximately two inches. You need at least two inches of grip into the concrete. Typical concrete slabs are anywhere from three inch, three and a half inches, or three inches to six inches. Um, if you're in a, a house, you can guarantee it's probably about three inches. So you never want to drill through your concrete and install your wedge anchor through the bottom. Here I have six inches in this warehouse, so I have plenty of meat. I'm gonna go a little further. It's always good to go a little further when you're drilling the hole. The reason is that you get dust down in the hole, so if it sinks below the wedge anchor to the bottom, you're fine. It's no big deal. Um, if you don't and you go only the two inches, you're going to have to blow the hole out and clean it. It also allows you, by going a little deeper than the two inches, it allows you some wiggle room. If you want to lower it a little more and not have as much thread sticking up, depends on your application. 